The Prince of Wales has been facing controversy over giving Saudi billionaire Mahfouz Mare Mubarak bin Mahfouz an honorary CBE, allegedly in return for thousands of pounds worth of donations to the royal charity, the Prince's Foundation. This emerged in November after Michael Fawcett, chief executive of the foundation, stepped down after being confronted with a letter in which he said the charity would be happy and willing to use its influence to help Mahfouz, who had donated hundreds of thousands of pounds. According to the Times, Scotland Yard TMS Special Inquiry team have formally requested correspondence between royal aides involved with securing the honour, to examine whether the fixing of the CB could breach the 1925 Honours, Prevention of Abuse, Act, which carries a two-year prison sentence. But while the force has made initial inquiries into Mr Fawcett, a full investigation has not been launched. Prince Charles reportedly took part in numerous private meetings with the billionaire, as well as writing him a letter and sending him a gift, a miniature carriage clock. Mr. Mahfouz met with the future king for the first time on March 27, 2014 at Clarence House, alongside Mr. Fawcett, and Mr. Mahfouz's fixer. The pair discussed the Prince TMS restoration of Dumfries House, the 18th century Ayrshire mansion where he stays four times a year, and the possibility that the Saudi might donate a seven-figure sum to it, according to the Times. The paper reported that this was put in writing a few days later, in correspondence from Mr. Mofuzi's fixer, who allegedly promised a one million donation for the restoration and renaming of the gardens at Dumfries House which became the Mafu's garden. The fixer also reportedly added that continued friendship building would lead to exclusive access to the prince and further very special personal and individual honors as per our conversation. He added, these are, at this stage, too sensitive to mention here. Prince Charles then allegedly followed up in his own personal capacity, thanking Mr. Mafu's and giving him the miniature carriage clock. The 73-year-old royal gave Mr. Mahfouz his honorary CBE at a private ceremony at Buckingham Palace in November 2016. However, pictures from the event were not made public and the awarding of the owner was not ever published in the court circular as is standard practice. A palace source said it was up to the award recipient to decide whether they wished to make a picture of their investiture public, both for honorary or standard honours. They added that honorary awards were not part of the standard investitures process, noting that they are frequently presented in the British Embassy of the individual TMS home country or at any relevant occasion when the recipient is in the UK. Earlier this month, Prince Harry claimed he had raised concerns about Mr. Mofuz's motives, adding that he had no involvement in what he called the CBE scandal. A spokesperson for the Prince said, the Duke and his advisers, as well as his non-profit Centibale, severed ties with Mr. Mahfouz and his associates in 2015, no longer accepting further donations to Centibale and discontinuing any plans for a fundraising event amid growing concerns over the motives for his support. The Duke had one planned meeting with this donor nearly eight years ago, did not introduce him to any members of the royal family, and expressed his concerns about the donor. It is disappointing that the Sunday Times, knowing all the facts, has chosen to encourage speculation by being deliberately vague to try to create a falsified link between the Duke of Sussex and the CB scandal, of which he had no knowledge or involvement. This came after it was reported that he took a 50,000 donation for his Centibale charity from Mr. Mahfouz in 2013. Clarence House said in a statement, the Prince of Wales has no knowledge of the alleged offer of honours on the basis of donation to his charities. Meghan and Prince Harry have been busy at work on their new business deals. Most significant is their Netflix deal, reported to be worth 109 metres, in which the Sussexes will develop scripted and unscripted series, film, documentaries, and children programming for the streaming service. Megan TMS' first project, an animated series called Pearl Trademark, is designed to empower young women and girls, a matter very close to the Duchess trademark heart. Pearl follows a 12-year-old girl who finds inspiration from important women in history as she embarks upon her own adventures. Megan has always passionately fought for women TMS rights and gender equality. In the years before she met Harry, Megan was a successful actress, but also made a name for herself with a multitude of philanthropic projects. 
She has been an advocate for UN women, a global ambassador for World Vision, and a counselor for UK-based charity One Young World. Read more Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen branded Meghan far too dull while many have praised her stance, others have suggested royal family members should not be engaging in political causes. Anne Widdicombe spoke to Channel 5 TMS 2020 documentary Meghan, Where Did It All Go Wrong? Trademark about Meghan TMS opinions at the first Royal Foundation Forum in 2018. Ms Widdicombe said, the royals don TMT do that. The forum was Meghan and Harry TMS first joint royal engagement with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Meghan said she was ready to hit the ground running in her commitment to championing women TMS empowerment. She said, I hear a lot of people speaking about girl TMS empowerment, finding and knowing their worth, and women TMS empowerment you will often hear people say they are helping women find their voices. I fundamentally disagree with that because women don TMT need to find a voice, they have a voice. They need to feel empowered to use it and people need to be encouraged to listen. She added, right now, with so many campaigns like hashtag me too and time TMS up, they're no better time than to really continue to shine a light on women feeling empowered and people supporting them. Ms. Winnicombe took particular objection to Meghan TMS comments. She continued, the day that the royals start engaging in political causes is the day you get a lot of controversy. There is a very good reason why the royals stay off politics and it TMS to avoid precisely that. Meghan TMS fight for female empowerment began at the age of 11, when an advert for washing up liquid came onto her TV. The advert said, women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. Meghan wrote to Procter & Gamble, the company behind the advert, and to First Lady at the time, Hillary Clinton. Her efforts paid off, and the advert was changed to people all over America. Meghan and Harry are both advocates of various causes, including the Duke TMS own Invictus Games project. The sporting spectacle for injured, wounded and sick members of the military community will be the subject of Harry TMS own Netflix venture. Part of Invictus will follow the journey of competitors from around the world in their battle to reach next summer TMS Games, to be held at The Hague in Holland. A release date for the multi-series production is yet to be confirmed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's latest deal with a New York-based asset management firm has been criticized by a royal expert, who claims that if you pick away at the layers, the company is only serving to make money for its investors. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced through the New York Times that they had become impact partners at Ethic, a sustainable investment firm, on October 12th. Speaking of the couple's partnership with the investment banking firm, Talk Radio's royal correspondent Rupert Bell claimed, let's be honest, anyone who works in the city, they're always looking out to make money for their investors. Now, they might have offices that are run slightly differently, dogs running around New York or wherever or whatever they're doing, but ultimately it's all about making money for their investors. They say if an investor chooses to invest in Fox Corporation, they're happy to do it they don't really care, they just want to make money even though they are doing it, they say, slightly different. Yes, it's great for Meghan and Harry, they might think this looks good but actually, when you pick away at the layers, they're no different from any other corporate organization in New York who is out to make money for their investors. The company Ethics screens businesses and sectors to invest in based on their social responsibility criteria on issues such as climate change and racial justice. The Duchess of Sussex told the newspaper, From the world I come from, you don't TMT talk about investing, right? You don't TMT have the luxury to invest. That sounds so fancy. My husband has been saying for years, gosh, Don TMT you wish there was a place where if your values were aligned like this, you could put your money to that same sort of thing. The couple hope their involvement in the firm will encourage young people to consciously consider their investments, and to look for sustainable alternatives. Prince Harry said, you already have the younger generation voting with their dollars and their pounds, you know, all over the world when it comes to brands they select and choose from. 
In a statement, Ethics said they were thrilled to be working with the Sussexes, who share a lot of values with us, and we suspect, with many of you as well. They added, they TM re deeply committed to helping address the defining issues of our time such as climate, gender equity, health, racial justice, human rights, and strengthening democracy and understand that these issues are inherently interconnected. Don't Miss Ethic currently has 1.3 billion under management, and have invested large amount into giant tech companies. According to a recent US filing, the company's 13th biggest investment is in Facebook shares, of which it has $6.9 million, 5 million. They have also invested $32 million in Alphabet, the parent company of YouTube owner Google, as well as a $2 million investment in Twitter. Both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have previously spoken out against the impact of social media, describing it as a relatively lawless space where misinformation is rampant. Since leaving the royal family in 2020, the couple have signed a number of lucrative deals to ensure their financial independence, including a Netflix deal that is estimated to be worth 100 million.